Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, during this time of year is, at least where I am from in America, in the small little state of Texas, it's a time of year where we tend to see a whole lot of the pumpkin. When the fall starts to arrive, we have jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins on display in October for Halloween. And then in November, we have Thanksgiving, which is a holiday we celebrate towards the end of November. And uh, we make pumpkin pie, at least my family traditionally makes pumpkin pie uh, for Thanksgiving. And Starbucks has their huge seasonal, huge seller, the pumpkin spice latte, which I love. It's so delicious. I love uh, the pumpkin flavor, except there's one problem. There was an article that came out earlier this year, which highlights all the ingredients that are used in the pumpkin spice latte. And to my deep dismay, there is no pumpkin in the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. I decided to take matters into my own hands and I found a nifty recipe on the interwebs for a homemade pumpkin spice latte using natural ingredients or ingredients that can easily be found at a grocery store. The only um, ingredient that you might have some trouble finding would be the tinned pumpkin itself. And that's okay because you can order it specially online and uh, if you're lucky like me, you can find an American sweet shop in Dublin which sold tinned pumpkin, which I was super happy about. So if, uh, if you would like to know how this recipe is made, stay tuned and I will show you. So I hope, that, uh, I hope that it is informative for you. I hope that it inspires you to make your own pumpkin spice latte and I hope that you enjoy. This pumpkin spice latte recipe makes two servings, which is good because I find that just one cup is not enough. The ingredients you'll need are two cups of milk. Now, while whole milk is best, I use 2% and it's just fine. Whole milk just provides a thicker base. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, plus a little more to garnish, a dash of black pepper for a little extra spiciness, one to two tablespoons of sugar, I personally use a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract, half a cup of strongly brewed coffee, or if you have an espresso machine, a third cup of espresso. A can of whipped cream or heavy cream that you can whip up yourself. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice mix, that's okay. You can make your own as I have, using one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, and an eighth teaspoon of ground cloves. I have quadrupled this recipe so I could have a jar with plenty of pumpkin spice batches, but the above amounts will be enough for this recipe, as well as a little extra for garnish. The equipment you'll be needing for this recipe is as follows. A whisk or a hand blender, a wooden spoon, a medium saucepan, a few mixing bowls, some measuring devices such as tablespoons, teaspoons, and a measuring cup, one or two spoons, a nice mug, I have a glass mug which I really like, and it's not shown here but a coffee maker, or you can simply have instant coffee on hand. I typically only drink tea unless I'm super tired and on the go, in which case I make an exception and have instant coffee, so I don't personally have a coffee maker currently. I've only used this recipe with instant coffee and I love the end result, so I can only imagine how much better the end result is with freshly brewed coffee or espresso. Okay, 
That's everything you'll need. And now, let's get to the fun part. Over medium heat, pour the two cups of milk into a medium saucepan. And allow the milk to get hot, but not boiling. Pour in the pumpkin puree. The pumpkin spice. A dash of black pepper. And stir well. Next, you're going to add the vanilla extract and stir that in. Continue to stir all these ingredients together for about two minutes or until hot. Cooking the pumpkin puree will help to rid that raw, squashy kind of taste, as well as bring out more of that wonderful pumpkin flavor, which is definitely Now add the sugar. Continue to stir until the mixture gets a little bit thicker. Now it's time to turn off the stove and blend the milk. I have transferred the mixture over to a large glass bowl so I can blend it sufficiently. Simply continue to blend until the mixture is frothy. The recipe suggests to divide the espresso or coffee between two mugs and add the frothed milk mixture, but I just went ahead and poured my coffee into the mixture and blended. I poured the mixture into a measuring cup so that I wouldn't spill it as I was pouring the final result into this lovely glass mug. And now you can top the pumpkin spice latte with whipped cream and a sprinkle of pumpkin spice. And you're done! A homemade pumpkin spice latte. To make this lovely presentation even lovelier, you can add a cinnamon stick. Voila! That's it! I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your own pumpkin spice latte. If you decide to make your own version, feel free to send me a message or post a picture of your results to my Facebook. All the links are included below in the description box, as well as the recipe. Have a wonderful, restful, peaceful day or night, and I hope that you'll join me again. Yeah. Oh, gotta get, gotta get the Texas big her.